<laughs> but I hope I've managed to clear some issues. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, uh, from a broader sense, we need to look at this budget vis-a-vis uh, -vis the commitments which uh, Kenya Kwanzaa gave to Kenyans because that's why they were voted into office. Because even as we get into the figures, there are some broad commitments which Kenya Kwanzaa gave and they are supposed to be delivered through the finance bill, essentially. Uh, to Central Kenya, for example, there was a commitment for guaranteed minimum prices for coffee, for tea, for milk, and for other farm produce. And uh, from an income perspective, because uh, like for example from our region, our income comes from agriculture. This finance bill must answer the question. Then, after implementing this finance bill, what then will be the guaranteed minimum price of tea? Because it was a commitment. What will be the guaranteed minimum price of coffee? What will be the guaranteed minimum of price of milk, of cotton, of pilethrum, and of other farm produce? Because that was the main commitment to farmers. So, is coffee going to go to 200 as a committed, as an output of this finance bill? That is what those people expect because they might not understand the numbers very clearly and the argument today, but the impact of this to them is what they need to take home. So, Kenya Kwanzaa must tell us out of this finance bill, then what will be the guaranteed price of coffee to Mount Kenya farmers, of tea, of milk, of rice, because that was their commitment. As we speak, tea attracts about 42 levies, 42 taxes. And uh, when I was a governor, together with the governor of uh, Kericho, we had actually gone to court, and the matter is still in court, trying to challenge the 42 levies against tea as a crop or as a sector the matter is still in court so those are the matters which this bill is supposed to be resolving for our farmers but they're just giving us figures which are actually indicative of the fact that fertilizer is going to go up the cost of transport is going to go up packaging costs is going to go up so when are we going then how are we then going to get those deliverables that is very important they must tell especially because I'm from Central and I'm not biased, and I'm speaking also for others, then what will be the price of the guaranteed minimum price of coffee to farmers? Tea, milk, cotton, that was a commitment. So they can do what they want, but then announce those prices as part of the finance bill. Lastly, this is not the only finance bill. We are going to have other 47 finance bills from every county. And because the model is the same, and the principle is the same, and the alignment is Kenya Kwanzaa, and this is a philosophy, it means we now expect worse bills from the counties. So how are we going then to marry the county finance bills and this finance bill, and then say this is the overall burden to our people? Because this is half of the burden, or partial burden. So someone need to tell us then, what will be the overall impact because this is half the journey. There is another one which is going to come from the devolved system. What will then will be the overall impact to the average Kenyan of this bill? Because the other levies which are being discussed, and they have been encouraged, by the way, to make sure that they raise as much money as possible because there is no money from Treasury. So as we look at it, we need to then ask what will be the overall impact and we also need to assess and our team need to get into the county finance bills so that we know the overall impact of the uh, this year's finance uh, uh, budget from both national and county governments thank you